Hello, good morning everyone. Um, I've snuck out to the workshop again while my missus is having a bit of a lay-in. I think we've got a bit of a busy day ahead. So I thought I'd come and film the final part of my clock project. Um, all I've got left to do really is apply a bit of finish and uh, that'll be about it really. So I popped out yesterday while we was on our travels and picked up myself a bottle of uh, boiled linseed oil. I think it was about six pound. Um, I've never tried this stuff before so I mean, I'm curious to see how it'll end up looking. I mean it does say on the bottle for use with soft woods and I'm not I'm using it on hardwoods but I'll give it a go and you know it is what it is we'll see how it goes so I'll get myself ready and I'll get on with it right so as you can see I've prepared myself a little bit of oil in one of my medicine pots I've only put a little bit in because uh, I have a feeling that this stuff is going to go a long way got myself a cloth ready to wipe it on so there goes nothing and as I say I've never used it before so uh, I'm going to do a little bit of turn and build it up. kind of wish I'd done this before putting the mechanism in but there we are, it's, it's done now so let's have a look. Oh well straight away I can see it's uh, made quite a big difference to the mahogany in the middle. Not so much the oak. But maybe, if I build up a few coats, it might make a more of a difference. So that's just a quick first coat wiped on, compared to the back. You can see it's, it's actually, I'm quite pleased with that, it's given quite a nice finish. So I'll crack on and get it done. Neighbours cutting the grass, great timing. <laughs> mean. Well that's got one coat on it already and I can and I can already see it starting to soak in. So I'll just wipe down there where I've held it. Um, yeah I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. It's given a I hope, I hope the camera's doing it justice, but it really has given it a lovely colour. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to leave that to dry, I'm just going to uh, stand it, leave it to dry, and see how it goes. In fact, it's becoming quite cold in the workshop now, I mean, anyone in the UK should by now have noticed a change in the weather. So it really is becoming a little bit colder. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it in the house where it's a bit warmer and uh, let it dry in there. There's no massive smell, so uh, my, my good lady Michelle shouldn't be too upset by it. And uh, once it's dry, I'll, I, I think I'm going to give it another coat just to see how it goes this oil thing it's, it's a learning curve for me I've never used anything like this before so I really don't know how it's going to turn out but I'll come back to you when this is dry and I've applied another coat and I'll let you know how it's gone so I'll see you soon thanks a lot well I've got the clock finished um, as you can see from behind me I'm not in the shed I decided to come in because it's blooming cold now I need to get a heater for me for me uh, workshop you see. Um, I've got it finished. There's the resulting item. Uh, very small but I quite like it. Uh, I'm not sure if the handles are going to be a little bit too hard to see but for a mantelpiece 
clock or a bedside clock, something like that. I think it'll work out well. Um, just as an afterthought, I thought there's even a little bit of scope for maybe a photograph at the bottom or something like that to stick on, or an engraving of some sort. But there you go, that's the clock. Just a quick, simple project. To be fair, it took me a bit longer to film it than it did to actually make it, but I guess that's the same with most projects that we do. Anyway, that's the end of this little mini series. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, I really appreciate you following this mini series again. Um, you know, so as usual, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment. I always try and reply. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Or you'll see me. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.